the next question it's come on the facebook again by zedin arik he's a non-muslim and he says that if a person is cremated then how will he be questioned about the questions asked in the grave as he does not have a grave that's a very good question and many people are confused that because there is hadith of the prophet sallam, that after you die you'll be questioned in your grave and there's also mention of the azab the punishment in the grave and it also says that the people who are buried they'll be questioned you have to understand that what this hadith means when the prophet said that after you're buried it means that because today we know that most of the human beings in the world they are buried the christians the muslims majority of the human in the world today if you do a survey they are buried less people are cremated some are given to the vultures when the statement is made it, it is mainly meaning after you die you'll be questioned if you're buried it's in the grave if not wherever you are that doesn't mean that if you're not buried you will not be questioned there are chances that maybe wild animals may kill you and you don't get buried there are chances you'll drown does it mean you won't be questioned no because for questioning two things are required the soul and the body the body if you realize even when you're buried it gets disintegrated it gets merged into the earth so the main concept is that if Allah can resurrect you on the day of judgment why can't he yet whether you have a body or not, whether they are buried or whether they have drowned, whether they are cremated, Allah can yet if he wants to give you pain, wants to give you punishment. As Allah says that in the Quran, in uh, Surah Insan, chapter number 75, verse number 3, that if those people who think that Allah cannot resurrect them on the day of judgment, how can Allah reassemble our bones on the day of judgment? So Allah says, tell them, that Allah can not only reassemble the bones, He can reconstruct in perfect order the very tips of your fingers. Talking about fingerprints, Allah can even get your fingerprints which is not even identical in a million people. So when He can resurrect on the day of judgment, why can't He do it in the grave? So it is basically telling you that after you die, whether you are in the grave, whether you are drawn, whether you are cremated, there will be a minor question and answer session. There will be some punishment, there may be some rewards. But the final recompense, as Allah says in Surah Imran chapter 3, verse 185, is the final recompense is on the day of judgment. Hope that answers the question.